we're going to simplify all these expressions by quickly changing all of these negative exponents into positive ones using two simple rules. Rule number one, move the base with the negative exponent to the other side of the fraction bar. B has a negative exponent. It was in the denominator. My rule said move it to the other side, which would be the numerator. Rule number two or step number two, make the negative exponent positive. So this becomes b to the ninth power. And that is how simple it is. That a to the third power did not have a negative exponent. So don't do anything to it. Just leave it exactly where it was, hanging out next to that b to the ninth where it's being multiplied by it. And in this case, because there's nothing in the denominator, I can actually just get rid of that fraction bar and more simply write this answer as a to the third times b to the ninth. Second example, let's follow those same two steps. Move the base with the negative exponent to the other side of the fraction bar. That's step number one. So z was in the numerator, it moves to the denominator. Step number two, make the negative exponent positive. Now this y to the eighth, did it have a negative exponent? No. So what do we do with it? Nothing. We leave it right where it was in the denominator where it's now being multiplied by z to the third. Now we can't leave this numerator empty. So we're going to go ahead and put a one here because z to the negative third is the same thing as one times z to the negative third. And we are done with the second example. Last example, some things are moving, some things are not. There's a lot going on here. Is that three moving? No, because this negative five only belongs to the x. The three is not being raised to the negative fifth power. If it was, this whole base would have been in parentheses, but it's not. So that three does not have a negative exponent. It just has an invisible positive one. So the three is going to stay right where it was in the numerator. The X does have a negative exponent. So what do we do with it? Two steps, move it to the other side, make the exponent positive. This Y has a negative exponent. So what do we do? Move it to the other side, make the exponent positive. This z does not have a negative exponent, so what do we do? Nothing. We leave it right where it was, where it's now being multiplied by that x to the fifth in the denominator. Now, for this one, the only thing I would do to make it a little simpler is let's go ahead and get rid of this exponent of 1 because y to the first is the same thing as y. And we're done with this one. If these two simple steps helped you out, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a like. Now, this explanation was very quick, so if you would like to understand this rule more or like proof of why it works and how it works, go to my exponents playlist and look for the more detailed video on negative exponents.